Hey guys, Kruznik X here. At the time of this recording, Moonfire Fair 2019 has come and gone. Sadly, in my efforts to quickly reorganize my channel, the videos containing the messages from the seasonal repeatable quest Messages from Distant Shores got corrupted, and they unfortunately could not be saved. Thankfully, a quick Google search saved the day, and I was able to find a website containing the dialogue from all those letters. This video contains a reading of all the medium bottled letters in an effort to condense this into three easy videos. Thank you to Gamer Escape and WordPress user Din Dean for compiling the archive, and I hope you enjoy the video. The mighty walls of Ulda were not built by one man. There were those that hewed the stones, and those that polished them, those that carried them, and those that stacked them one atop the other until they reached the towering height you see today. And it is not just the walls. Much of what you see in the world is, in fact, the sum total of the blood, sweat, and tears of countless men and women whose names and faces you will never see. But there is one more who is essential to truly realize the creation of these wonders. And that is you. For without you, all the efforts of those nameless artisans would mean nothing at all. And so we speak in unison when we say, Thank you. Always remember that you are the reason we devote ourselves to our craft. With gratitude, the Nameless Artisans of Eorzea. A little bird tells me that Eorzea is a land where many a bard and minstrel plies their trade. Oh, what I would not give to visit that far-off land and hear the strummings with my own ears. Such is the vain dream I hold in my heart each day as I sit in this dark room, pounding away against a great machine of levels, dials, and blinking lights. Countless sounds have been given life in this cold, dank place. Perhaps you have paid special heed to them, but doubtless many of you have not. There is no shame in this. On the contrary, this is proof that they have formed part of the natural fabric of this world. And yet, at some point in your adventures, if you could pause for even a fleeting moment to take in all the sounds of the living world around you, nothing would give us greater pleasure. In gratitude, an artisan of acoustics. To those who make a living in the world of the stage, audience reactions are everything. Each joyous cry, each shed tear, we feel it with you, our audience, and then some. Even when the reviews are harsh, we do not look away. We listen to and reflect upon your every word, each time vowing to use it to provide more powerful and effective performances going forward. There are times when the poets and playwrights ask more of us than we feel capable of providing. But never do we back down from a challenge. Everything we do, we do it for you. And we thank you for being an ever-appreciative audience. Yours in gratitude, a humble stage director. From vast deserts and verdant forests to deep blue seas. From white veiled snowfields to exotic landscapes and sometimes even to distant worlds. Many a vista we have painted on our canvases. From familiar surroundings to far flung locales. If even one or two of them have left an impression on you, 
There is nothing that would make us happier. And yet, all we can do is provide the backdrop, the stage on which you, the star of this adventure, will shine. From seas of azure and seas of ruby to the gentle darkness that comes after the light, ever will we continue to put brush to canvas that you might bring the worlds we draw to life. Ever with you, a humble landscape artist. Nothing warms my heart quite so much as when I see adventurers about town walking around wearing the clothes and fashions that I designed. At times, the color and outfit combinations are beyond anything I'd ever imagined. This, in turn, inspires me to not rest on my laurels, but rather to strive to create yet newer and more eclectic fashions. So to you, who I may never meet, and whose name I may never know, I only have this to say. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for allowing the close of my creation to walk with you. Yours sincerely, a humble fashion designer. A tale is not complete the instant the author pens the final word. No, it is not until the reader then takes the tome in hand and the words enter their eyes, their heart. Only then does the story told in those pages truly come to life. One could say that you are not only the protagonist of this grand tale of adventure, but also, in a sense, one of its authors. Your thoughts, your decisions, your actions, all serve to dictate the course of the story. And so we hope that you will continue to enjoy with all your heart your adventures here. May you ever continue to breathe life into this world. Sincerely, A Teller of Tales. Hello, friend. Are you perchance enjoying the fireworks? You can be honest with me. After all, I'm just one of the humble artisans responsible for the show you saw today. To tell the truth, my colleagues and I are responsible for more than fireworks. Storms of pounding rain and bolts of lightning, auroras that dazzle in the sky, mystic lights and the glowing of crystals. The lights and mists that you see upon the stage are all crafted by our hands. Fireworks are a fleeting thing, are they not? They dazzle the eye and move the heart, but in the next instance they turn to smoke, then fade and vanish without a trace. Think, just for a moment, of how it must feel to put one's heart and soul and hours of blood, sweat, and tears into creating something that lasts but an instant. But please do not misunderstand. We say this not out of bitterness, but with honor and pride. For nothing gives us greater pleasure than to know that our humble efforts have, even in the smallest of ways, helped your star shine all the brighter. And know that we will continue to pour all of our inspiration and imagination into illuminating your grand stage. Yours in obscurity, a humble artisan.